So now we have Kevin Cease joining us. Kevin Cease, JD, is a lawyer and political activist in the United States who has worked on a wide range of issues, beginning with ending the war on drugs and mass incarceration, including helping to organize the 2011 Occupy Encampment in Washington, DC at Freedom Plaza. He currently serves as co-director of Popular Resistance. Kevin Cease. Thank you very much, and uh, lots of powerful testimony today, and I really appreciate everybody who has spoken so far, and yesterday as well, and thank you to Code Pink and the others who organized this, and to Real News for covering this. I was asked to talk about costs of war. I'm going to focus on one aspect of that, which is the uh, empire economy, uh, and it begins with recognizing that we are an empire, that the United States, in fact, is the largest empire in world history although we do our best in the United States to keep that a secret uh, from people who live in it. Uh, we don't hear any discussion in the media about it. We don't hear elected officials talking about it. We certainly don't hear generals talking about it or State Department officials. Um, they don't want us to know we are an empire. But we compare to no other empire the world has ever seen. We have a, an empire of bases, a thousand military bases and outputs, out, outposts, more than a thousand. Uh, you know, Great Britain was in the 30s, Rome was in the 30s as number of bases when they were empires, so we are massive. Uh, and that produces an empire economy. And if the people knew we were an empire and looked at the empire economy, they would realize why we should end the empire. Uh, when it comes to Iraq, which is the focus of these hearings, Baghdad was going to be the center of empire operations uh, for the Middle East. The United States divides the world into commands, and the command for the Middle East, Baghdad, was going to be the central base. We built a massive, massive city within a city that was going to house our State Department, our military, our intelligence apparatus, uh, and uh, it, it, was, it had a skyline that could be seen anywhere in Baghdad. Um, and so uh, that domination didn't work. We were going to also have bases around the... Uh, around the country as more outposts uh, to push to other areas. Baghdad, if you look at a map, uh, is centrally located uh, from um, Pakistan and Afghanistan to the Mediterranean and Palestinian territories uh, to North Africa and to Libya and Syria. Uh, Baghdad, if you look at a map, it often explains why we have our, uh, our wars why we focus on different regions, because empire is really about, uh, in many respects, geography. Uh, empire undermines uh, people and nations around the world while propping up the governments, often dictators or illegitimate leaders uh, or oligarchs who ally with U.S. leadership. Uh, and they, the leaders profit, but the people don't. Um, you know, we, we sell them weapons or sometimes give them weapons. Uh, we see people around the world protesting U.S. bases from Italy to, uh, to uh, Okinawa in Japan to Jeju Island in South Korea. The people resist U.S. bases, and yet we keep pushing them through with the help of the oligarchs who control those countries. Uh, we can see the impact of empire on Iraq. We've heard other testimony today about uh, the millions killed, the millions displaced, the millions turned into refugees. Uh, this has been repeated in Libya, in Yemen, and Syria, and is ongoing in Palestine. The empire at its roots is about economics, uh, um, as most wars are. Uh, a major defeat of empire that we just uh, saw was the defeat of Obama's triad of treaties, especially the Trans-Pacific Partnership uh, and the uh, Atlant Trade Atlant Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership and the Trade and Services Agreement. These three agreements uh, would have given not just the United States economic domination around the world, but our transnational corporations would become more powerful uh, than governments around the world. But they were defeated. It was defeated by uh, a people power unified as a movement of movements in the United States, allied with people around the world, and it really has made a tremendous difference. And that is an example of how we, how we defeat empire. At home, we see the US empire undermining our economy uh, by creating 
um, a, a, a failing economy uh, that again serves the big business interests uh, but results in all sorts of opportunity costs where we spend money on military uh, jobs which are very expensive compared to the jobs we need. Uh, teachers transforming our energy to a clean energy economy, um, social workers, health workers, these would be much less expensive jobs and would lead to a, a much uh, stronger economy. How do we defeat empire? My final point. The lesson from our fight with the, over the Trans-Pacific Partnership is that we have to first expose it. They are trying to keep it secret. Our job is to expose it. We need to have, as the peace movement, discussing empire so people are aware that we are an empire and what the impacts are. It needs to come out of the closet so we can debate it. And when it starts to get debated, and we, and we can be doing, of course, ongoing protests about it, ongoing advocacy uh, with uh, members, elected officials. And if we start to expose empire, then once it's no longer hidden, uh, we will see it defeated. We have the power to accomplish this. It starts with letting the public know, because the public is not going to support an empire, which is why they keep it secret. Thank you all.